Alright, oh, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say all praises be to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Blessings to the open elect. Teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. <clears throat> you know, and uh, I was just I was just thinking, I got to thinking again. <laughs> um, and I was watching uh, Elder Yeshawanba's video. You know, speaking about this whole Travis Scott thing and you know the rap industry and it was a good video, man, edifying. And there was a clip that he played um, from a certain documentary. I can't remember the name of it, but there was a really good point that was made in this documentary. And an individual actually said, um, you know, about rap culture, he sort of demonizes it so much. You know, he talks about, oh, that's filthy. That's that, you know, all that kind of music's filthy, but how comes they fund it? All right, how comes they actually fund it? Okay, now remember this, the earth said that the, the, the Bible said that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, you know. And we need to, first of all, you need to know who the wicked is on the earth that's ruling today, and that's hated by you know, starting with the elites of Esau, the nation of Esau, Edom on the left hand side, all right who are basically working their witchcraft through the earth in order to fulfill their agendas. And one of their agendas is funding the rap industry in order to keep our people dumbed down. Here it is in 2021, even before that, you know, niggas, spicks, you know, so-called, can rap about killing each other, murdering each other, selling, selling crack to the kids, um, drug money, I can buy what you want. I think that was one of the lyrics from Future. You know, you know they. But the thing is, who is it? This, this, these lyrics that are on these rap songs, they're allowed to be played on radio stations. They're allowed to be pushed on all kinds of media, social media platforms. <clears throat> and who controls the social media? Who controls the record labels? Who controls the music industry? Esau controls all of that. So if he hates the industry so much the rap industry so much like he says he so-called hates it the music that's being pushed out and whatever why does he fund it and that was the point that i wanted to speak about man because you see what's happened at this this travis scott thing you know this this um the, this concert where i believe it was like 10 years old and up was allowed to go you know to these concerts and elder yashawamba made a good point he said look man we're living in a time where you know children are being forced to wear masks when they go to school and this and that and whatever but then you can look at a concert like that and 50,000 people can be huddled together, you know, rubbing shoulder to shoulder, damn near can't even breathe because they're so tight together with no mask on, jumping around, sweating, rubbing up on each other, shouting like a damn orangutan, all up in a fucking concert, getting sacrificed while this nigga Travis Scott, and these ain't the words of Elder Yashamama, I'm just adding to what he was saying, you know, while the, while the nigga Travis Scott is standing there on a fucking podium, you know, you know, looking like a fucking action figure singing, man. You know, and these, you know, these demons, man, <clears throat> they're working through these individuals, man. And he, these guys worship Satan. And we told you that, man. All right. And it all goes back to them selling their soul. They, they are Satanists, bro. All right. You got people of our own nation that worship the spiritual demon Satan. All right, and if you don't believe us, man, read Ephesians, the sixth chapter, when it speaks about we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, man. That's in Ephesians 6 and 12. Okay? <clears throat> we wrestle not against flesh and blood. The scriptures speak about this is a spiritual war, man. Okay, principalities, demons, which the word demon means intelligence, man. All right, this nigga was up there on a podium dancing around, <clears throat> singing for ages while people were, were dying in the crowd. So we're living in a time now where you think, oh, it's harmless. You go to a concert and your uh, you, your limbs might get separated from your body, man. Right? Look what happened with the Ariana Grande concert. And these niggas, they be sacrificing people, man, in these concerts, bro. And I was thinking about it. It's true. Like, this nigga actually had a deal with McDonald's, man. All right, the golden arches, and he was pushing pork among the people 
The nigga was turned into an action figure on the commercial selling pork sandwiches to our people, man. And that's, and you know, that cheap ass menu, they got the 99p menu, you know, where you can buy shit for 99p, you know, but he had a, he had a burger that was pushing pork amongst our people, man. Now, if you, look, man, people who see these celebrities as idols and that, if you, you pump his music so much, you just might be tempted, I'm gonna go and get that Travis Scott meal. I'm gonna go, oh yeah, I'll be eating Travis Scott every day this week. You know, I'm eating that burger. <clears throat> so Esau has put these people, you know, these false prophets, because they, they, that's what they're pushed as. You know, and the elder was talking about people like Tupac and how he was held as a, oh, he's deep. These are false prophets, man. Yo, but listen to what he's saying. Listen to his lyrics. But well, you got niggas that, are, that's why the scripture says, Jeremiah 4 and 2, 22, right? Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people are, are, are foolish. They have not known me. They are such as children. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Okay, so our people are wise to do evil, man. When it comes to breaking down the lyrics of Tupac, you know, they, you know, oh shit, but did you hear the way he put that together? You know, when it comes to selling drugs, and these niggas push trap music, they push, they push uh, drug selling, they push murders, but as soon as they come out and say something against, um, you know, the, the, the alphabet community, you know, the sodomites, you know, then guess what? They have to come out and apologize to that shit. And that shows you that that's fucking witchcraft. And you know what the scripture says, rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. Every fucking thing that these rappers push is in rebellion to the scriptures. And the scriptures speak about all those that hate me love death. So they're pushing a vibration of death, right? And it's being, how can I say? It's being further pro uh, propagated or propelled by Esau because he's the one that's funding this shit. And the scriptures speak about the accuser of thine brethren. Here it is. Our people are doing wicked stuff off the back of what you're pushing, right? And you're accusing us before the most high. Look, they're eating pork. Look, they're selling crack. Look at it. But who's putting... Who's flooding the streets and our communities with drugs? Who's doing all of these things? Right? Who's selling crack to the kids? Who's pushing pork among our people? Right? Just like in the time of Antiochus, when I speak about him being a wicked root, you know? The abomination that make of desolate, the scriptures speak about Antiochus and how he put pork all up in the temple, you know? Put false idols, for us to worship all up in the temples, defiling the temple. This is what Esau is doing. There ain't nothing new under the sun. Esau is doing it among our people now today, man. And he's using our people to do it. All right? And that is the, mo the motive of the so-called white man, the wicked, to accuse us before the Most High, even though he's the one that's responsible for pushing that upon our people, man. Now, ultimately, the Heavenly Father controls all things. Let's not get it twisted. The scripture says, the deceived and a deceiver are his. Okay? But Esau is being used as that tool, right? The whipping stick of the Most High to push wickedness on the earth. And if you fall victim to that in these last days, and guess what? You just ain't of the elect. Because the elect are going to ride out for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The elect are going to ride out for righteousness, not wickedness. Right? You ain't going to see members of the elect jumping up up and down sweaty in a fucking Ariana Grande club man okay we are not to be in rioting and drunken and chambering this which when you look up that word rioting or is it chambering chambering I think it's rioting it, it speaks about parading through the streets after after dark with torches in your hand man you got niggas going to uh, concerts with glow sticks we just had the 5th of November you know uh uh um fireworks night guy forks and all of that right which that goes back to them having you know trying to you know blow up king james you know which they that plot failed and so on and so forth man but you got niggas big grown-ass niggas and we saw it last week while we were teaching at the camp a fucking pop-up festival man you know and that was satan <clears throat> you know and he had a grown-ass man with fucking sparklers in their hands this is a this is, and all these amu and it was a pop-up amusement park right next to it. And these amusement, the word amusement means to divert attention. When you go up to the etymology of that word, it means to divert attention, man. And all of this is nothing but bread and circuses, man. Including the rap industry, these concerts, the gladiatorial games, right? The NFL, 
the, the, the basketball games, the boxing games, the sport, or whatever. All of that is nothing but bread and circuses, and it's set up to divert your attention from what Esau is really pushing, man. Right? And you got in order to be at these these places, you gotta be you gotta be pumped up with the hydro, man, with the hydro gel. Right? You gotta have that neon glow, you know? You gotta have that loser phrase up in you, man. In order for you to be at these places, you gotta be in, bro. You gotta be down with the vibration of death. Jumping up and down, vibing to music that promotes death. That's what you gotta be down with, right? In order to be a part of this world, you've literally gotta, you know, you gotta like, literally, you know, give yourself over to it, man. And the scripture says, no man can serve two masters, for either he will love the one and hate the other. Now, hey, we, we listen to hip hop here and there. The scripture says, look, as using this world as not abusing it, man. You know, some brothers, when you want to let your hair down, whatever, you, you know, you might listen to a couple of tracks or whatever. But niggas are outright, outright willing to get jabbed up with the hydro gel just to go and see these so-called celebrities, these fools idols, man. And when they end up getting fucking suffocated and trampled on in a stampede while their fucking idol is dancing over their heads and they wondering why I'm even here. There was a clip that was going around of some Jake was talking about, look, I felt like I was in hell, bro. I, I felt like I was literally in hell, you know? And he said he felt like in a VIP section, there was bodies everywhere, you know? Now we don't know whether they're underreporting the death rate, which they probably are, because that was a straight up sacrifice, man. And again, I say, what about the Ariana Grande concert? That was over here in the UK, man, in Manchester. When you had that bomb go off, Ariana Grande was performing You go to these public events You just might fucking lose limbs bro You just might give up the spirit Because you will Hey Now is the time We're living in a time where Esau is moving with great wrath Because he knows that he has but a short time man And he's pumping out them sacrifices Hot and heavy We, died, we just Fucking had ham, uh, Halloween man and straight after Halloween, Esau goes and pulls something like this. That was a straight up sacrifice, man. That's why it's good to speak about Ephesians 5 and 15. We gotta walk circumspectly in these times, right? We gotta know exactly what we're dealing with. We gotta know exactly what time we are in, man. Okay, because Esau ain't taking no breaks on the left-hand side of the agenda that he's pushing among our people and on the earth. We're coming up to the time of the hour of temptation. We're coming up to the time where people are gonna be sacrificed left, right, and center, right? For not bowing down to worship the image of the beast, which is Esau's way of life, okay? Taking the MOTB, the chip, right? Ultimately, that chip is about to be pushed, man. Now, if that chip is about to be pushed, the hydro gel is being pushed. All of these things are 5G towers radiating you to death. All of these things are being pushed hot and heavy in these last days, and you won't find yourself at a fucking concert spinning on your fucking head, man. I mean, this this is this is come on, bro. It's, it's time to grow the fuck up, man. That's not very circumspect, man. Just speak, just speak about what manner of persons ought we to be in as we're hastening the day. All holy conversation and godliness, man. The scripture speak about in uh, Sirach 39 and 1. He that is occupied in the meditation thereof, man, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients and be meditate, uh, occupied in prophecy, man. The prophecies are speaking. And if you don't believe that, man, then pretty much the Lord ain't dealing with you. You haven't been given a gift to see that. All right? So, hey, I just wanted to say a few words on what's going on with this whole um, this whole Travis Scott thing right now. That was a straight up sacrifice, okay? And, um, hey man, hey, the scripture says, ultimately the issues from the Lord, the issues of death come from the Lord, right? The Lord says, I wound and I heal, I kill and I make alive. The Lord is the one that does these things. So we ain't really sweating it, okay? We just got a no peak game and stay away from these people, man. Okay, it's harmless. Like I said, it's harmless, right? Okay, you go to one of these concerts. Oh, hey, something may not happen. You might go to five concerts in a row. See, nothing happened. Now, on the sixth concert that you go to, man, it's your fucking turns into your worst nightmare, man. And you know what the scripture says? In, in their affliction, they shall seek me early, man. Right out here, man. This is this is a giant fucking amusement park, man. Okay, everything that you see around you is a, is a fucking amusement. Everything is set up to divert your attention. 
adverts, billboards, music, the food, everything is an amusement park. Mmm, I wanna try this. Mmm, I'm gonna try that. Social media, Instagram, you know, doing it for the gram, doing it for the likes. It's all set up to divert your attention, to keep you dumbed down, bro. The lyrics in the rap music, the rap industry, is being controlled by Esau. Despite the fact that he tells you that he hates that kind of music, he is funding it. Know what's going on. Don't, fool, don't be fooled by the lies. Remember, the scriptures speak about the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Esau is a fucking liar, man. Now's not the time to be getting caught up with the lies and the wiles of the devil, man. Right, what's the word wiles in Ephesians, the sixth chapter, right? It's methodea, right? Which means cunning arts, craft, and deceit and trickery, man. And that's what Esau sets up, traps for our people, man. This could speak about Esau laying snares, right? Esau is known as a cunning hunter. And a hunter, in order to trap his prey, has to lay traps and snares, man. Bait, in order to catch their prey. That's what hunters do, okay? And right now, we are their prey, bro. And Esau is using his technology, his blessing that he's been giving him on the left-hand side in order to catch his prey, which are you Israelites. And a lot of you are falling for it, man. Here it is, we're out here telling you, look, don't watch out. There's a bear trap over there. Watch out, there's a trap over, there's a cage, or there's a pit that's been dug for you over here. Jump over it. Oh shit, look up, oh shit, a, a, a tree log is about to fall and crush your brains. We're trying to tell you what's going on, and you niggas out here, you ain't listening, man. In their affliction, they shall seek me early, man. Don't get it twisted. Esau is a devil that the Bible speaks of, man. And he's willing to shed blood. He's willing to send you to the spirit realm. He's coming for you, niggas. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, man. The sword is being sharpened in these last days. Esau's blessing is the sword. The scripture says, should we then make mirth? We ain't in a time of mirth, man. Now is not the time of mirth, bro. So we gotta get it together, man, you know? And ultimately, only the elect are gonna get it together. Only the elect are gonna get it together in these last days. The believers, man, those that really believe, okay? Remember, the Lord said he's looking for the true worshipers to worship him. Right? When we must worship the Lord in spirit and in truth, we gotta know exactly what's going on in these last days, man. All right, so anyway, it's just a few words. I'm I'm heading to the job, so. Hey, man, I, I just wanted to add my two cents in onto that, man, because I, hey, the spirit been on me, man. I, to, I've been watching things about this old Travis Scott thing, and I'm like, bro, this nigga's a straight up demon, man. He came out apologizing to the people and that and whatever you know, covering one eye and shit. And he didn't even look, he looked like he wanted to laugh, really. This nigga's a demon, bro. He's got, you can clearly see the nigga's got demons on him. You can clearly see he's got demons on him, man. All right, if you're looking at this thing with a spiritual eye, then you can see that, bro. All right? So anyway, man, with that, man, I pray you were edified, you know, to the next one, man, I say shalom.